Hey there, today I'm going to go over my paint your own color dots. I see a lot of people struggling to figure out the best way to do paint your own color. So I have made this little tutorial just to show you what method works for me. And I'm painting a cookie for you just so you can see it in real time exactly the exact results if you will. So you can see here, all I did was touch the top of this dot with a little water, gave it a little bit of a rub, and I'm getting fantastic color out of it. So let's move on to making them. Doing this method I have found gives me pretty much an endless supply of dots, what seems like an endless supply of dots, and it gives them to me in any color palette that I choose. So that way, when I'm making an individual cookie, I can pick and choose the colors I want just for that. Makes it very easy. So I have two ways that I use them. I either use them directly on a cookie that has that image, as you can see here, or like the one I was painting, or I will make a larger design and include a separate palette that has been made into from a cookie. Now, when they're done using this as paint, of course they can even eat the cookie. <laughs> In order to make these, I start off with a thick royal icing base. So not a whole lot of water, just really kind of thick like what you would almost start to use for making like royal icing flowers. Um, I start with that and then I start adding a lot of gel color. And you're basically using that gel color to thin it down quite a bit instead of water. Now don't freak out. It's not like you're giving them a whole mouthful of this um, when they do end up eating the cookie, it's just a small dot of color. So don't, I know it sounds like a lot of color at the time, but remember they're going to be painting with it too. So, um, a lot of that color gets used up, but I just make it pretty much like a soft toothpaste, I guess, consistency. I put it in a tipless piping bag just because that's easier and I'm lazy. Cut the tip off here. You can see just a small tip. The smaller the tip, the more control you'll have over how big you want your dot. So don't try not to make it too big, otherwise you'll end up with big colored saucers that won't leave you much room for cookie. You wanna try to um, use something to, to pipe these on, like either a parchment paper or a wax paper. You can use um, plastic sheeting, there's acetate. Um, a lot of those things will work just fine. Anything that once it's dry, it tends to pop off of there. I like parchment paper, that's my go-to. And so I just steady my hand. I squeeze the pressure until I get the dot size that I want. I stop squeezing and I lift up. If you're familiar with making French macaroons, this is the exact same method you would need to pipe French macaroons. As you can see, above my hand, I have jars of these colors. I've had a lot of practice making dots. So I love, I have a lot of colors here on hand. I love being able to pick and choose and make my own color arrangements, if you will. Um, when you're piping your dots, you're gonna let these dry for a couple of days. If you can just put them on a shelf and forget about them, it's fine. If you wanna use your dehydrator and speed up the process, that's what I tend to do. It also makes them a little bit shinier, which I just happen to like. So, but any method is fine. You can just leave them somewhere and let them dry. You then pick them off the paper, or if you're lazy like me, I use a bench scraper. And I just do a whole bunch of them at one time. Pretty effective. Now to reattach these, so I, you know, once they're completely dry, I then store them in these cute little jars. 
Um, you can find whatever method you want. I see some people use those containers for beads and they fill them up in their little compartments. Um, but I learned this from watching tons of people on YouTube and videos and TikToks, but um, just tried to break it down in, into a method for you. But to reattach them to the cookies or to make your own palette, all you need to do is just dab on, oops, dab on a little white icing. Take one of your dots and push it right on. Let it dry. Ta-da! Couldn't be easier, right? <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Um, and let me know if there's anything else you would like me to show you. Take care. I hope this helps.